Hello, this is Dee from dmiddleton.com. Welcome to my year-long Thorough Declutter series. In this series, we declutter 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Currently, we are working on paper clutter. And I will warn you, this will take far more than 30 minutes to get through your papers if you're trying to digitize your entire home or office. Each day, we do a daily declutter task based on the room we are working on in my series. Today, our task is to declutter our papers and digitize them. Again, this task will likely take more than 30 minutes, but generally, that is our declutter series rule of thumb. So you may have to break this up into 30-minute increments over the course of several days. In today's digital age, there's no need to have piles of paper cluttering your desk and filling up your filing cabinets. Going paperless and digitizing your papers is not only environmentally friendly, but it also saves time and reduces clutter. If you are ready to make the switch to a paperless office and home, here are some tips on how to go paperless and digitize those papers. Here are my five best tips to declutter your papers and go digital. Step one, invest in a scanner. The first step to digitizing your papers is to invest in a high quality scanner. There are many types of scanners on the market from portable handheld scanners to all-in-one multifunction printers. Choose one that suits your needs and budgets. Also look for a scanner that can handle a range of paper sizes and could scan both sides of the page. Don't have a scanner? Continue on and I'll tell you how you can scan paper straight from your smartphone. Step two, it's time to organize your papers. Before you start scanning, take time to organize those papers. Sort them into categories such as receipts, bills, tax documents, and so on. This will make it easier to find and access the documents you need later. If you have a lot of papers to digitize, you might want to consider hiring a professional document scanning service to help you. Step three, it's time to create a digital filing system. Once you have your papers organized, it's time to create a digital filing system for each one. This should mirror your physical filing system with folders in each category of documents. Each descriptive file name that you use in your folder can be the same as what you use in digital. You can store those digital files on your computer's hard drive or an external hard drive, or even in a cloud using Google Drive or Dropbox. Step four, get rid of unnecessary papers. Now that you have all of your papers digitized, it's time to get rid of the unnecessary ones. Shred or recycle papers that you no longer need. This will free up space in your office and home and make it easier to stay organized in the future. Step five, use digital tools. Don't have a scanner? You can use your smartphone. There are many digital tools available that can help you manage your digital files. For example, you can use a document management system like Evernote or OneNote to organize your files and take notes. You can also use a PDF editor like Adobe Acrobat to edit and annotate PDF documents. I use Evernote frequently myself, and you can upload documents simply using your smartphone camera. Now you know how to go paperless and digitize papers. Going paperless and creating digital copies of your papers is a great way to save time, reduce clutter, and help the environment. By following these tips, you can make the transition to a paperless home or office as smooth and efficient as possible. How is your home organized? Are you looking to eliminate clutter for good? I designed my year-long declutter series to help you slowly and permanently declutter the entire home. What you can expect, you'll receive a daily declutter task for the specific room we are working on. We then move step-by-step step through the process to declutter every room and space within your home. Now leave a comment below and let me know what you are decluttering today. You can also head over to dmiddleton.com to subscribe and get your free homemaking ebook. You can also find lots of declutter printables and deep cleaning printables over on my blog at dmiddleton.com.
There are lots of free principles over there as well to help you stay better organized. Thank you for watching.